So most of these images were absolutely shite, as you can see, but it's not about that. Oh, Jesus Christ, this tripod's heavy. <laughs> Just a quick message before we get into the video. Uh, thank you to all the recent subscribers. You guys are absolutely awesome people. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so as I've got a lot more videos on the way. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Slowly but surely, over the course of this year, I have completely lost all motivation for photography. My desire to take photos is now almost at 0%. I sent this tweet just over a month ago, and in fact, my lack of inspiration started long before then. Now, I don't really want to bang on about 2020, you know, too much, but this year has been challenging in many ways for a lot of us, almost all of us, I would say, and... One of the things that I have struggled with is maintaining my inspiration and motivation for photography. The simple fact of the matter is inspiration is fleeting. It won't just come to you, you have to work to get it. So the question is, how do you inspire inspiration? So right now, in this moment, I have almost endless inspiration, I have endless motivation, and I'm ready to go every day. So what worked for me was a combination of things. Firstly, I took a break. I took a step back. I stopped doing anything related with, with photography and I let myself breathe, so to speak. I disengaged with social media, I disengaged with the, the news cycle. All these things just stop. That was really the key that unlocked this sense of relief and I felt like I hit the reset button. Secondly, I've actively pursued better health. I really tried to focus on my health, my mental health, as well as my physical health. And um, I've noticed a big improvement in my sort of work ethic. My, as, and as I said, my motivation and inspiration has returned as well. In addition to this, I really wanted to understand why I'd lost the focus on the one thing I truly love doing, taking photos. So I turned to reading. Some photography books, some non-photography related books. Which brings me to this, The Photographer's Playbook. This book is a collection of essays and ideas geared towards inspiring and motivating photographers to think outside the box. So I did one. Lessons learned from a failed attempt. Number one, find the camera that you've owned the longest, your first ever preferably, put a roll of film in it. I won't be putting a roll of film in it because my first ever camera was actually this one, which is the Canon 600D. Number two, Tape your watch to the camera and walk out of the house. Now, I also won't be taping the watch to my camera because I'll just be using my phone. Number three, head north. Easy enough. Number four, every time the second hand of your watch reaches the top, take a photograph. Okay. Number five, do not put the camera up to your eye. Okay, so a lot of photographers don't do this anyway because they use the LCD screen on the back. Now, I won't be using the LCD screen on the back because the whole point of this exercise is to not look, not think about the camera. Number six, walk for 36 minutes or 24. We'll do 36. Now, I'm going to be doing this challenge in the area where I grew up, which is called St. Julian's in Newport, uh, in Wales. And there's a really interesting point that I want to make here. So almost five years ago now, I moved to China and that's where I actually discovered my passion for photography. 18号,英国青年马特摄影作品展城市之间在武昌群星剧场开展。25岁的马特毕业于英国南威尔士大学,专业是纪录片摄制。2015年来,他来到武昌第45中学从事外教工作,经常利用业余时间用相机记录武汉
to keep our minds fresh, to keep us thinking and to always make sure that we don't lose the motivation and inspiration that we so desperately want and need all the time. So without further ado, let's get into it. My local area, the challenge. I'll just let you know the settings that I'm using. I'm gonna be using auto, which I never use. I, I'm, I'm very much a manual setting user, but this time I'm gonna use auto and I'm just gonna let the camera do all the work. Okay, so north is this way. And I'm gonna begin the timer now. Here we go. So I think this is not about photos mm -hmm. themselves. This is not about the composition, it's not about the quality of the photos. It's not a real you know, it's nothing to do with those things. What it's about is training your eye to look, to see what's around. Yeah. And because I've given myself these rules, these limits onto what I can do. I'm now seeing things that I want to do, but I can't, do you know what I mean? So it, it's given me sort of inspiration, I guess. That's good. Which is the whole point of this exercise. Well, I think we better turn around actually, so we can't head north all the way. So we'll make it even more difficult and we'll go back the same way that we came. That's it, that's the challenge complete. So we'll go home now. Let's see what we've got. So as you can see, most of these images are absolutely shite, really. I mean, there's a couple there that could be something, but really, they're awful. 
But this wasn't about the images. This was about unlocking the inspiration, unlocking the mind in a way to regain the enthusiasm, the sense of joy I get out of taking photos in itself. So it worked. This exercise worked. That book is really good and I can't wait to try more of these assignments and ideas because it's really creative. It gets you going and, um, you know, it's inspiring. Yeah, perhaps I would not use the 50 next time um, because I feel like a wider lens would have given me a little bit more um, joy out of these images. Focus is off. Now, there's a reason why I don't use auto and these pictures explain <laughs> why. I mean, auto's good in some situations or for like beginners, but not for me. I, I really like having control over uh, the settings because this is just awful. But again, this is not about the actual photos that, that we've got. Oh, that's that's okay, actually. If you've got any ideas or thoughts about this video, then please leave a comment below. I genuinely want to hear from you. It really does help with what I'm trying to do on this YouTube channel. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really does help again. And thank you to all the recent subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so because more videos are coming thick and fast. I've got two videos in the pipeline. One is going to be the end of the week, I hope which is vintage camera review, and another one is a Newport POV video. Not sure which one's going to come first, depends on uh, when I get the film developed back to me. So, yeah, thank you again for watching, and hope you have a lovely day. See you soon.